I mean, uh, this has been open for about two years now? A little over two years. Oh, a little over two years. So he came to me in last July, and then we've been working diligently, and then obviously he's been very good at wearing his brace and taking care of it too. So now it's finally closed. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit more, make sure it's all closed, but that's where that is. Hi, Daniel. We have Daniel back. Hi, Daniel. Hello. Look at this thing. It's finally closed after two years now. I've been seeing him for about seven, eight months now. He tells me that it, this has been open for about two years now. A little over two years. Oh, a little over two years. So he came to me in last July, and then we've been working diligently. And then obviously he's been very good at wearing his brace and taking care of it too. So now it's finally closed. I'm going to clean it up a little bit more. Make sure it's all closed, but that's where that is. And then we have some other area that's of a concern. This callus also may open up like this one, so we have to keep uh, the callus down. We have some other calluses here, some nail issues. See this distal corn right there? And we'll get those. And also on this side, he's got some pretty thick nails here as well as the um, or corn right here on the third toe which will get down quite a bit on it so that'll be today's work okay so we are kind of celebrating here of uh, the uh, whole thing completely not 100% closed by so you can see it's closed so you didn't have to do any uh, bandaging or anything right because nothing was really open no, correct? I haven't dressed it in over a week wow that's the first time in Two years, right? Two and, a half years, Two and a half years that you didn't have to uh, put bandage on. You didn't have to. What was your routine usually? Well, in the morning I'd uh, put, I'd dress it, and then if it was like summer and the, my foot would get wet, I'd uh. change it three or four times a day sometimes. Oh, is that right? <laughs> kind of hassle, huh? Yeah, it was. Uh huh. So, but you, you guys have to do any dressing changes which is kind of miraculous right oh, <laughs> you're so still used to doing it yeah yes. but now it's closed and we just have to make sure that he's got good skin underneath it so we'll just clean up a little bit of the calluses here so really great to see i was really happy to see today that the hole was closed even couple of months ago there was a still a uh, hole open so it's great news that he's doing really well it's got to make sure that it doesn't open up again so you, you're wearing your uh, brace too right uh no just my shoes now oh, oh you haven't even worn the, uh, the braces no nope. okay very good so that's that's another but hassle just, out of the way huh yeah I'll say. The, the brace was pretty um bulky and very difficult to get around right yes yeah and, so. uh, i still need it uh, to walk on like the tile floor oh i see but i can walk barefoot on the carpet now wow that's a great improvement very happy very happy for him that we're able to help him so he has a little bit of um little bit of a scab in there too so i don't want to irritate it too much but we'll get some Cows is around it off so that uh, it won't cause any problem for him. So, so how's everything else? You've been busy visiting your patients? Well, I'll say. You've been busy? I don't know. I think I'm busier now than before I retired. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, sometimes, sometimes that's a good thing, you know? Keeps you busy, right? Yeah, it does keep me busy. Keeps so. you busy, keeps you active. If I was home, I'd go crazy. Yeah, exactly. So we got to be doing something. Even after retirement, hopefully you won't retire because when you retire, you get tired. So I say get rehired. Not retired, right? Rehired. Yeah. Do something. Do something you enjoy doing helping others or whatever you have to do. And that's what I recommend people to do because if you retire to doing nothing, then your health's gonna deteriorate really quickly, all right? You have to stay active and get your mind sharp because if your mind's not active and then just kind of not taking care of your rest of the body, then that's not a good thing, right? Yeah. 
That's how I see people age really quickly. Oh, I know. Right? Do, do you know how long they say people live after retirement? No. I read a study years ago. I don't know if it's true right now, but they say you live 18 months. Average, 18 months after your retirement. That means some people die right after your retirement. Oh, hell no. <laughs> so you pretty much retire to die, you see. Yeah. So I said, when I, when I saw that, I said, you know what, I'm not going to retire. I'm going to keep working, doing yeah. something, right? I just turned 68 Friday. Oh, is that right? Oh, you look great. I can hardly say that now. <laughs> it sounds natural. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it looks really good. Look at look at that. That looks really nice. I just have to keep it down. There's a little bit more healing to do, but it's still close. So I don't want to interrupt that too much today, but I cleaned out all the calluses around this, so it doesn't cause any trouble. So I'm very happy for him. Look how nice that is. That looks very nice. I'm going to take care of some other calluses here. We have to keep the calluses down around the bones because these sharp bones underneath that can cause this uh, area to open up and cause ulcer like like Daniel had which is a big problem and it's a big hassle and you have to take care of it and you can get infection from it so you have to really keep keep the calcium down and take care of it you have to soak it you have to put medicine on it there's a lot of work to do so it's, it's good that you take care of it so that it doesn't open up you know, some of these things you can see that has some red spots on them, those are blood. So they kind of bleed a lot if you get a lot of calcium. Sometimes you you get a little blood because of the uh, callus causing a friction and causing like almost like a blood blister. And then it causes a little blood to sit in there, which is not very good. So we have to keep the calcium down to prevent any further breakdown of the skin. So that one looks good, a little bit more to do there. And this side has a little bit of uh, really thick callus here, you can see on this third toe. As you can see how thick that is, so we have to work on that a little bit. So it's been raining a lot, so is it difficult to get around when you're... I know you go to multiple places, right, Daniel? Oh, not too bad, really. Yeah, it was raining a lot. Yeah, I know. I'm yeah? sick of it. Huh? It wasn't too bad, running around? Not, not for travel, no. No? Because people drive kind of... Oh. Sorry. Is that hurting? Just a little. Sensitive area there. This thing is really thick, too, huh? It's kind of difficult to get around the so much rain and the wind. The wind was really bad too, huh? Oh gosh. It was yeah. really windy. So how's your how's your diet been lately? It's been good? Well, You've been eating I, well? Uh, try to keep away from simple sugars uh -huh. as much as possible. Uh -huh. And uh, really, I, I think the diet's all right, except uh, I don't. I have a craving for uh, fried uh, potatoes and is that right? And that, so. French fries? Yeah, French some of them. Fries? But I, I also I can't stand greasy food, so I try not. I steer away from them, but I love French fries. You do, huh? I have an um, In and Out once in a while, and I like their fries. I don't eat a lot of them, but and I. I take a few pieces from uh, my son's uh, little order. You know, you know they make it right there, right? They don't. Uh, they they cut their uh, potatoes right there and then cook it right there. Where? At In and Out. Oh, In and Out. Yeah, they do it right in the kitchen. You can see it. I don't know if it's true or not, but they uh, they don't have a refrigerator. They oh. make everything fresh there. I don't know if that's a legend or myth or truth, but that's what they tell me. So everything's a lot more fresher and more natural there than other places. Other fast food places, they they mass produce it somewhere else and bring it in, right? 
so, yeah. yeah, they do. So that's why they have a lot of preservatives in them. But the fries from the in and out is, um, they make it right there. They have a potato cutter right there. They put them in that little machine and then break it down and then they fry them in there. So, so you can see there's a lot of cows there, which I'm taking off still. So I'll, I'll grind the rest of the nails down. A little bit. So this one's pretty painful. Huh? This this little one. Yeah, both the middle toes are. Yeah, this really thick. So I got most of it down. I just I'm just gonna grind the nails down. Yeah, you got a little cast over here as well. a little squash down between this one and the, the big toe causing what we call a pinch callus this is called pinch callus because it's pinched between the toes they're pretty thick there too so yeah we'll get this one down let's go to the other side and we have a little bit of this one right here which is really thick too So it looks like I don't have to see you as often. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think, I think we can go to monthly now. We start with weekly and then bi-weekly. I think you're graduating into monthly now. Okay, unless something happens, right? Okay. You like that? Sounds fine to me. Yeah, that's called improvement. We start getting longer and longer with our appointments. How are the patients that you're, you're helping? Are they doing okay? Uh, they're doing okay. They're maintaining. They're nobody's okay. sick? No. Well, one just came from the hospital, but uh, he's doing better now. Yeah, okay. There are a lot of people not going to the hospital now these days. <laughs> That's what I heard. But yeah. They need to go, but they're not going. This calcium is pretty thick too, so we'll kind of get this done. Yeah, they're saying that there will be a big wave of a lot of patients that really didn't take care of themselves during the pandemic. They're all going to go to the hospital and there'll be a lot of issues there as well, right? Because they haven't taken all their regular testing and all of that because uh, a lot of people are scared to go to the hospital or they're scared to go to the doctors. So there's a, a lot of big wave of a lot of... Um, medical problems coming on, you know, a lot of regular checkups and all those things have not been done. So, you know, a lot of doctor's offices still close. Oh, really? Yeah. Or they're doing uh, telemedicine only. So a lot, of, a lot of patients need to be seen, you know, like physically. Oh, I bet. Yeah, so they're not being seen, so I think it'd be a big problem of a lot of patients having a lot of their regular medical issues, you know, getting behind handling them. So hopefully we'll be able to catch up pretty quickly. That's what we're hoping. Otherwise, you're pretty healthy though, aren't you? Yeah, just the diabetes. Uh, just your diabetes? Yeah. Is it pretty well controlled now? Well, I hope so. Uh -huh. I haven't seen my doctor in a while now. Oh, is that right? You feel okay though? You don't feel sick? Oh, I or... feel fine, yeah. Uh -huh. You haven't had your A1C done in a while? Not in a long time. Mm -hmm. I got my COVID shot though, the first one. Oh, you did? Okay. So how did it go? The second one will be the 29th. 29th? So how did, how did it do? Oh, fine. I didn't you didn't have any pain or anything? A lot of people have pain in the injection site uh, a little bit that night but not bad really yeah some people have it for a, for a while and then some people have headaches i've seen a lot of my patients have headaches from it some people got sick from it you know got 
had almost like a flu symptoms, you know, afterward. Everybody's different as to what kind of symptoms you get, you know? Yeah. So I'm glad nothing happened. That means you're strong, right? I hope. Yeah. A lot of people got, got sick from it too, you know? It's like a... A lot of people get sick from the regular flu vaccine too, so... I think my neuropathy must be getting worse because my, I can barely feel feel your hand on my toes. Oh, is that right? Have you had some neuropathies before? And no, just when the diabetes was started. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay, so now we're gonna grind it down. Ticklish? I guess that's what it is. I'm not, try not to move. But... You're not that numb then. I guess not. <laughs> you have some numbness, but... Uh -huh. This one alone because it looks nice. I don't want any trouble. This one's got a really big callus too, huh? Yeah. You know, have to make sure these things don't open up because this area can open up. to see that you're doing very good so thank you for allowing me to film you today and congratulations for healing this so let's take another picture there we'll see you next time all right